Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we are once again joined by Mark from Qualitex, our pioneer. Should you explain to people the difference? We could do, yeah. I think so, you've done that for a while. Well, Pioneer is the company. Pioneer yeah. Europe Limited is a company, and Qualitex is a brand of balloons, along with North Star being a brand of balloons. So it's a made by Pioneer. Yeah. There you go. Simples. Um, all right, well, we are joined once again by Mark, and he's very excited because he's, he's got these balloons. Jellies. Jellies. These are from North Star, and they are very unusual. I wasn't. I love the pictures of them that have gone out on Instagram. I think they're great. Brilliant. And uh, I, I, it's only when I saw them today that I realised that you can actually see through these, and you've got the foil at the other side that you can see. And I think that's really great. I think it's a really different, and obviously you've got the the ombre side of things as well. So I, I like them. I love them. I think they're going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. That translucent uh, element uh, that catches the shine from the back just gives that 3D yeah. effect. Yeah. Um, I, I really like these. But you've 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 been inspired. I've been inspired. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a I'm a helium guy. I love doing lots of helium uh, uh, decor. But these are these are an air filled product. Yeah, and I, I was keen that we did something air filled. Yes. Um, because I think air filled are great because you can quite often cut your cost compared to helium, but charge more than you might for a helium exactly um, thing. So helium thing, not a thing, a helium piece, a helium. Centerpiece design, centerpiece, creation. Creation, that's the best word, not thing. Um, so you've come up with some some good ideas, haven't you? So well, I like to think so. I, I, I think quite they're pleased, pretty good. Yeah. Well, there's one right behind us. Look at that. Well, there's two, actually. So what have you come up with there? Explain your, your creative thinking. Well, basically, you've got, we've done clusters before. Yeah. Uh, I've got some nice seven inch chrome in there, which really pops and works with the, the narwhal. We've got the narwhal that's air filled uh, and, and attached there. Um, and it can be personalized with the jellies yeah. to, to the age that you're celebrating for yeah. the birthday. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some bubbles, which uh, just add a bit of rhythm and movement to the design. Yeah. And then you've got something above there that kind of matches. And again, you can do air filled. And I wanted to show that air filled's from top down, hanging, yeah, yeah. As, as well as from creations bottom up. Yeah. Uh, and by using a combination of the two, you start to add that, that movement, that rhythm uh, and coordination into a room. And yeah. you can do all that without helium. Yeah, yeah, which is great. That's absolutely fantastic. I love it. Love it. So let's 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 see how you did it. So um, with the with, with the uh, jellies, the one thing that I, I noticed straight away is is there's a lovely long neck that um, uh, that al uh, allows you to inflate easily through. Yeah. Um, uh, but I thought to myself that if you were to just stick that up to the back out of the way, then you you're going to have. Uh, uh, a, a colour stripe yeah. up the silver side, yeah, yeah. Um, which isn't desirable. Um, so I grabbed a bit of balloon bond. Now I I use balloon bond, but I'm a, a stretchy tape man. I use stretchy yeah. tape you, all you the do. time. You we, do, yes. <laughs> I know you do. Lots and lots and lots. We have. Um, but I've become a real fan of balloon bond. Oh, really? Yeah, real fan uh, 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 since doing these designs. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll cover a bit of that. But it's really simple to use. Uh, it, it's double-sided sti sticky. Um, we can drop one tab on. Um, and I find if we, um, if you halve the neck to there. Oh, I see what you're doing. And then we can add some on the reverse side then the bit that sticks um, to the silver is actually uh, going to leave uh, the right colour. Very simple solution. Did you ever see the BMTV I did ages ago, ages and eight years ago, on the stretchy balloon tape? I've watched them all Have over you? and over <laughs> and over again. That's all I do. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I, was, I was genuinely impressed. That was a, a proper experiment with sellotape, gaffer tape, and that. You sort of struggled to break it, didn't and you? It was, it was tough. It was getting quite dangerous because it was quite heavy. The bucket that I had things, it was a, a bucket of nails from B&Q. Took the nails out and just put these heavy weights in. And it was getting, I had my hand there and I was trying to grab another it was really getting quite dangerous had it gone on my toe i would have broken my toe but yeah it's very good stuff the click click stuff uh, it is um and uh, and that that's going to stick there absolutely perfect but we're going to do more with it in a minute yeah so um uh, so to create air design uh, i've pre-prepared air cluster bases yep 
So I think we've got our basics on that, haven't we? Balloon basic on, on, on doing those. Um, the interesting thing, if I just turn it upside down, um, with air filled designs, is you need a really good weight. Yeah. Um, so that there is um, a, a sand fill weight, and it's and it's more than you'd normally use for a healing balloon. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it gives it that it gives it that sort of um, stability yeah. straight away. And especially when you want to create some extra rhythm, and we're going to add add, add this balloon onto onto this side here, um, uh, it, it's going to hold it absolutely uh, uh, perfectly still. The good thing about um, sand weights as well is you can mold them and flatten them and squidge them around, whereas a water weight. It's just a water weight yes and you can't really do much with that yeah. so um, yeah um uh, so I i'm going to be working in, in in reverse here okay um but uh, the other thing i found about balloon bond is that if i um i used to just put it on one side and i think that's where some of my um sort of issues that i had with the product came from yeah uh, i used to just put it onto the one side like that and i'd take that off and i'd stick it straight together and you can do that yeah um but if you don't then hold the product until it's totally secure you may get a a, a little bit of um uh, uh, stretching of, okay. uh, uh, of the glue itself um so i'll just take a, a another bit uh, the same sort of size and i found you can use a lot less tape overall if you just tape both sides before you start bond bond, bond. not tape bond bond both tape. i'm so pleased you're here i'll be rubbish without you, Greg. you know <laughs> that. oh it's nice of you to say um uh, so yeah just drop that onto this side um the other great thing about balloon bond is that uh, you will also see that you can pre-prepare this part of the uh, uh of the uh, of the balloon yeah uh and 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 that that can stay in that position like that for some time. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to transport the pieces separately and then put them together afterwards, yeah, yeah. It, it's really good for that. Yeah, very good. We just I, have to, I have to tell you, we inflated a seven inch chrome with helium yesterday. Did You're you? not supposed to do that. They're not designed to not do that. Not designed to do that. It floated. Do you know how long it floated for? Well, I don't even know how long it floated for, but it floated for a minimum of four and a half hours. Really? Yeah. So, because we left then, so I should have taken it home really to see how long it continued floating for. But I was really impressed. Four and a half hours. And that was without high float. That was without high float. Just, just inflated it, and yeah. Wow. Maybe my question of the week's answered early. Anyway, <laughs> what was the question of the week going to be? <laughs> how long will a high floated seven inch actually last for, and how yeah. much high float do you use? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that would be very interesting. So uh, we've got that there. I, I want to add a little bit more rhythm and movement to the okay. design. Um, I'm going to do that uh, by doing some bubbles from the mouth to the number eight, almost like that the narwhal is inflating number eight. Okay. Is is the madness behind That's, the design? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll drop that down out of the way and just show you that with a diamond clear 260. Uh, you don't need a great deal. Three pumps is absolutely fine. Yeah. Tie that off. And then I'm just going to do some random bubble sizes. So you're not doing them consistent? Not doing consistent. Um, if you want to, you can graduate these. Yeah. You, can, you, can, you can do what you, you, know, you, you think is right. Um, one thing that I would recommend people do is do at least four turns in between each okay in between each bubble um, and just just doing a, a random uh, pattern is, is nice and easy um, and you'll find that if you if you don't hold them tight in the design if you let them sort of flex slightly um, they'll look more like random bubbles all right I remember when I first saw Subola do this and did every single one exactly the same. That's why I do random ones. Because <laughs> I'm not Sue Bowler. <laughs> they just didn't look like a balloon in any way. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hello, Sue. Hi, Sue. Obviously important that we're twisting all in the same direction. Yep. Because if you don't, they're all going to come apart. undone. Yeah. And that we're holding stuff. E <laughs> you do know stuff now. Yeah. And holding each one separately. Yeah. And then when we get to the end, we just need to control, burst that end piece and tie that off. Uh, 
and then remove any excess. Okay. And then we've got two ends and I'm also going to use some balloon bond to attach those to the design. All right. Because it's my new favorite stuff ever. Really? <laughs> And this is, this is the nice thing about this, is that we can take this, stick it directly over the end, mm -hmm. and that's secured now there. If I wanted to move away, I could just lock those, lock yeah. those off. I'm just gonna take the uh, end of air bead off and then take that so you just put that straight over the knot straight over the top of the knot um, I'm hoping that that will the mechanics will be even though it's diamond clear will be less visible when okay. it's actually stuck to the uh, the design uh, and then we're ready to peel those off as uh, as we go so if you just come up with this design today yesterday um, no, I spend hours preparing before every visit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. You yeah. just came up with it today. <laughs> so this might be a bit difficult. I'm sorry if I cover you, Greg, here, because it's in the, in, the, in the way of the camera. Um, but if we just take both sides of that and take the bond off and drop that to our bottom of our number, eight that'll stick nice there and take the other side off and drop it to the mouth and you can spend more time than this and get the the design exactly the way you want it and you just get some nice bubbles i think Is that okay that's great that's, that's really fun Really fun, unusual, easy. yeah. And hopefully that's creating movement. That's yeah. creating a bit of rhythm in the design yeah. that makes it look like it's not stationary. Yeah, yeah. No, I love it, love it. But Mark, that's a really nice design and everything, but I, I want more. <laughs> Always. Sorry. Um, I've got to uh, give good value to everybody out there in BT, B, BTV land? BTV BMTV land. BMTV land. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have got another design here. Uh, I told you that balloon bond was my new favorite thing. But you've obviously put helium in there because of the angle. Nope. So that's uh, just bonded to the base. But what about the weight of the balloon? And Really, that's just, how much, you must, did you use a lot of balloon bond? I used two sections, uh, less than an inch. Wow, that's really impressive. And how'd you do that base? So that's a uh, foil wrapped um, uh, cake stand, cake board. So foil balloon? Foil balloon, uh, or one half of the foil balloon. We could do that. Should, should we do a basics on that? Ladies and gentlemen, there's a BMTV balloon <laughs> basics on how be. to do that. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a very new one. But yeah, the thing is that what I'm thinking about that is, you know, when people have foil balloons that they're finished with yeah. and talking about recycling the environment and Excellent all of that, idea. then you, you, you're reusing something. Obviously, you're not going to reuse every single one, but what a very inexpensive way of yeah. doing it. Yeah. So I love that, Mark. I love that. Okay, that is fantastic. So you've just used exactly the same technique here. Exactly the same technique, uh, uh, and uh, tape the two together, uh, a connection point there, and a connection point All with base. balloon bond. All with balloon bond. Excellent. Well, Mark, that's fantastic. I, what's the question of the week? Uh, again, the question of the week is, how long will a chrome seven inch float with a little bit of high float in? So you're really gonna ask that question? Yeah. So people, okay, well let us know <laughs> what you find out when you put a little bit of high float, and I'll be interested to know that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Mark, well, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you next week. Bye.